So what you so you said um so people be trying to get you, people be trying to get you for your yeah, paper? Nah, not not necessarily that bro. Like uh like pretty much it's like I I be in these weird situations, man, like somebody hit me up, like, oh, oh, my so and so hit me up and said you was talking to them or talking, you know what I'm saying? Like and it be people I don't even know. Yeah. Man. Shit just happened to me like the other day. <laughs> like like people I never seen off the internet. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, say like somebody might like your shit or something, you like theirs, you know what I'm saying? That shit is so big to win, you know what I'm saying? Dog, why <laughs> why though? Like why? <clears throat> I, I had a conversation with somebody about this not that long ago. And of course, to me, I just always say, it's just Instagram. Right. No matter what it is, at the end of the day, it's just Instagram. Like that she posts that picture, it's just Instagram. They always say the shit. Well, yeah, if it's just an Instagram girl, I don't mind. But if you work with her, I don't look. I don't want nothing with her. It's just a picture. I like it. And I scroll past like half the time. At least for me, I'm not even paying attention who the fuck it is. Uh, I'm just this, scrolling out. If I see a nipple this, or whatever I like, right. I just I tap it and keep this, on and go. This social media shit is crazy to like, some people. It, it's like some people lose their whole life over this. They give a day. Everybody in love and they cut everybody off in social media for likes. Have fun. Right. Cut me off. All right, that shit. <laughs> But people do shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Like this music shit, even on a on like a local level, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it come it come with a lot. You got to move a certain kind of way. Like I can't even really say half the shit I really want to say most of the time. And that's that's it, people, don't it though? Yeah, but it's always people watching. You know what I'm saying? And that's why what we just talked about several seconds ago. Um, but that's why I can't let some of them white people at work see this shit because. You know what I'm saying? Like you just said, like I, I have a different, I have an opinion about certain shit, and no, it ain't about like, oh, don't be ashamed of your opinion. I'm not ashamed of shit. I just know that some people don't understand that opinions is opinions, and that shit might cost my black ass my job. One thing I, one thing I can say about that though, for real, for real, like you a real, dude, <coughs> you know what I'm saying? So you speak, you speak for a mass amount of people. They I can't say. I hope not. <laughs> blunt with you know what I'm saying like you you speak for people that can't say it, you know what I'm saying yeah and people will respect that they gotta respect that because a lot of people be scared to be they self but HR at work when they get weird right. and they saying hey. fuck trannies you know what I'm saying they ain't gonna be like no nah, you gotta be more you know you, you gonna have to put a discretion or something on the front of it no nah, you like, gotta put shit on yeah, shit man yeah. just look and just understand no I just understand shit is much worse things in the world if I'm talking about trannies or whoever man. but but yet and still Niggas is hanging from trees, right? That's some real. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, if that's the problem, me talking about this shit is, bro. You know, and I'm not saying because I understand that freedom, freedom of speech does not equal freedom of consequence, but it's like suck my dick in a way. <laughs> right. No, you know what I'm saying? It's just like you can say what you want to say. That's the right there, bro. It is like everybody. Everybody like it, 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 if you ever get that feeling like it just anything. It's like you got you can say what you want to say. Like it, gay people can do whatever the hell they want to do, and I enjoy. Hey, do whatever it is you want to do, but it's like or say whatever they want to say about people. And if a black person says the same thing, it's not the, you know it's it's um it'd be it'd be looked at differently or it'd be received differently. You know what? Like you know even like in a workplace, like dealing with public or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like I notice. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, I love all people, bro. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Black, white, it don't really matter to me. Love is love for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the, same, me. at the same time, though, you know what I'm saying? I find myself, you know what I'm saying? Being black in America, being a black man in America, you have to be overly nice. You know what I'm saying? If I'm if I'm just, like, regular nice to somebody, it's still considered rude. You know what I'm saying? And that's and whack. It, it is. <laughs> that's whack as hell. But it's true, though. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. Yeah. And then coming from where we come from, like people fear this shit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, like you, I, I hate when people when I say I'm from Pontiac. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I'm from Pontiac, right? Like, what the fuck? Like, ain't that? What bro, the fuck is like, talking about? Shit, it should have you anywhere. We ain't got, we got school shooters and shit like that. Yeah, bomb and shit. Yeah, or that. Right. Yeah, I mean, but that that just come along with the the image that's been cast and accepted right. as black people as just a threat all the damn time. We're more accepted for that role in a lot of different in a lot of different things. Like you get cast for that role, or whatever. Not even just in the role, but just the image of anything. Like uh, I saw the meme where it said like black people have been called lazy ever since we stopped working for free. That's so, but how the hell did black people get the label as as lazy for real? Why it is though? We run everything. 
we don't own everything, but we rent everything. We have, it's, everything is hip hop culture. Everything is black culture. Mm -hmm. And I saw, ironically, another meme that says something like, uh, I wish that white America loved black people as much as they love black culture. That's deep. Oh, that's deep. If you listen to all music, sounds like Three Six Mafia now. Every you know what I'm saying, everybody's dressing like black people. You know what I'm saying, all the shit. Or if they not dressing like black people, it don't get hot until black people start dressing that way. Niggas are wearing a rock polo. It's mad low heads out here, but that shit don't get hot until you see, you know, just like, your favorite rapper in that shit. It's or, like Tommy, like Tommy Hill freaking that came back. Everybody been killing that. Calvin Klein, all these old grants. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, Calvin Klein been around for for for, for a fucking ever, mm -hmm. but niggas started caring when they saw the fucking Calvin Klein thong and whatever else chewing up Miracle Watts ass. So now Calvin yeah. Klein is back in. I so, don't fuck with Calvin Klein though. I mean, shit, I don't. Hey, ain't yeah, no beef for me. I ain't buying them drawers though. <laughs> them motherfuckers were twenty eight dollars a piece. I said, nigga, right. what? Uh, mm, I can't afford that, baby. <laughs> hey. Twenty eight fucking dollars, nigga. Uh, um, buddy. I don't know. The podcast pop up. You out here? We go to Walmart. Right. You buy your ass <laughs> some fucking hangs. Look, it's all laid up on the floor. Any fucking. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Hit the DM, y'all. Cashing out. Ah, right, yeah, cash me out. Yes, yes. Give me money, but don't Man. expect no money. <laughs> you know about Candace Owens? You heard him? You following her? Um, that's the chick. She somehow affiliated with Kanye, right? Well, yeah, like pretty much she, um, she started a movement, Blexit. And what's this about? That's about, uh, it's pretty much like black people exiting the Democratic Party going to the Republic. It's deep, bro. It's real deep. I mean, I, look, man, most of that shit, like I noticed my life goes a certain way because I don't pay attention to certain shit. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's important, like maybe that's some important political shit. But I feel like it ain't. I I don't give a fuck about Candace Owens. Like I've I've been checked out about Kanye, um, but that's an interesting thought. Yeah. I I wished it. I was hoping you was gonna say like getting black people to exit this shit and we can just go be black somewhere else. Yeah. People like okay, that's cool. But it's like <laughs> uh, it's not really too much. It's not really political. It's like she she pretty much playing in between. It's pretty much. It's like. She playing both sides of the fence, but she said some real shit. Though. I'm gonna ask you, and this is a real good question. What do you think about integration, right? Like integration, whatever. Like um, some people say, because that's how my mom ended up here in, in Pontiac. Um, my my mom's sister was working up here um, in, with GM. Okay. And it was about the um, end segregation in the South, and you know shit was getting wild. So my mom, my grandma, my grandparents. So my mom lived with my sister up here in the north to live with her sister. If I said my sister, sorry, with my auntie. So, um, but I've heard this thought before, even since I was a kid, like um, we should have never integrated because imagine the north and the south. Right? No, nah, just blacks and whites. Because let's just say you know when when major league sports integrated, who did that really help? Look at the face of every, just about every fucking sport is influenced by black people. I got something, I got something for that. That's deep because, you know what I'm saying, I, I understand that, you're right. You know what I'm saying, but, but it come down to, once again, we run everything, they own everything. It's just how it is. But we, that's, see, that's, that's where integration come into play. Mm -hmm. Because there was a time we actually owned some shit. We didn't have to integrate where we had to force and a lot of we, 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 we lost a lot of shit because we was forced to choose. You're talking about the Black Wall Street shit? Well, that shit got bombed, but yeah. it's like, I right, if you got a choice, right, and when you integrate, you say, I right, blacks and whites, we can all do the same thing. So you might get a black restaurant in a white neighborhood that's owned by white folks, and you might get the black restaurant in the black neighborhood that's owned by black folks. The right the black restaurant in the white neighborhood is owned. I mean, sorry, the one that's owned by the white people. They have, of course, they have better money. They're gonna be able to have better ingredients, better whatever. Woo -woo. Right. So that's gonna do a little bit better you know, in a else? sense because the, you know what I'm saying they can they can afford more. So in a way, you gotta choose. So that's choking off the black people for whatever. You still going to the black restaurant, but it's not a black restaurant. It's owned by white people. So that's how integration kind of in a way choked off. The black people, if everybody had to come, let's say if there was no 
you know, uh, I'm going to just use a name per se. Let's say if there was no Popeyes of white people, if it was only Popeyes of black people, the Popeyes empire would be black and that would be huge. But instead, it's owned by somebody different. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what it come down to? It come down to that, like that Willie Lynch shit. That's deep. Yeah. Self hate. Like uh, we we always in competition. Like you always in competition with your brother. Instead of bigging somebody up, somebody will tear somebody down. Or you know what I'm saying? Somebody always want to see somebody do good but not better than them. And that shit. That's 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 the problem. It's moving. Just, just think about it, like if everybody was just to come together. Like every every like you know this everybody you know what I'm saying. Everybody it's happening like, though. It's, it's slowly happening, but it's still a lot of hate. You know what I'm saying? It's because, like, you know what I'm saying? When you put people, like, the way I look at it, it's just like everybody in the race to go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? It can feel that way. You know, like, because you're not thinking outside the box. You would tear your, you would tear your brother down over recognition, and y'all still nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Instead of building everybody up like Atlanta, like how they do. You know what I'm saying? Atlanta got that little wave. And they kept that shit. They had that shit for like a decade, over a decade. But the thing about that is, though, right, is like the people who are doing the arguing, like you just said, ain't really going nowhere. Like everybody else, what I just told you, like I know like DJ Kobe, you know what I'm saying, FGs, all them niggas, you know what I'm saying, everybody over there, they doing a lot of shit. They they do they work at all the fucking time. Rossi Posse, them says parties every fuck. They doing all types of shit. The people the people that's making noise ain't the ones that's arguing, is what I'm saying. That's deep. Like, I don't know. There's a lot of people. I, I haven't even got a chance to link up with a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I, I see everything. I, I, I keep in touch with everything. You know what I'm saying? What's going on in the city? I don't always comment, weigh my opinion, but yeah, you know, I, I, I see that shit. Yeah. You know, but it, it is. It's a lot of people, man. There's a lot of people doing a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, you know, like we a small city. You know what I'm saying? Like support, support is nothing. Support is free. You know what I'm saying? Just show love. Yeah. Just let somebody know. Like, all right. Like your podcast, like I like what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Keep thank it up. You, thank you. Basic, like that's that's all. That shit go. That shit mean a lot to a lot of people. Really like artists and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Just take a little time out your day. If you like something, let somebody know you like something. You don't gotta yeah. blast it. Like DM. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta let because everybody wanna be ghost supporters. You know what I'm saying? Just, you can like what I mostly do is you know what I'm saying. Whatever it is, like how I reach out to you, like. Mm-hmm. I just, I just, I see a whole lot, and I, I just saw you posting your shit in the fucking in the PMA thing. I'm like, damn, my nigga Air Racks really do be out here, and I ain't seen your name on none of these fucking lists. Man. So it's like, yeah. all right, why not? So, boom, here we are. You know, like uh, that type of stuff. Like, I never, I never really, like, you know, I never really let that shit bother me, or I never look at it like that, like. Support, support gonna come from whoever rock with you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like whether you recognize or not, it, it it's my shit still on me. Your mother shit still on me. Going, it don't really matter to me because I'm trying to reach a higher goal. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's where I, I kind of feel the same. Like with the podcast and shit is like whoever fuck with it, fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I think that's how it should be. You know? Um, so that's all we could do. You know what I'm saying? I'm just getting the videos out. Um, are they doing as well as what I would want them to do? No. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm, I'm putting a lot of work into it. I think this shit is really dope. But like you said, it's going to come with time or whatever. I don't... You know the, the real shit somebody told me before, bro? Like somebody told me overnight success was five years. Um. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm definitely not looking for the overnight success. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate anybody and everybody who, who pays attention. You know what I'm saying? So, right. Because that's, that's, that's the ultimate goal. You're doing good though. You just gotta keep pushing. Uh, I appreciate that, man. That's exactly the same to you, man. You was just in Miami, right? Or oh, in yeah, Florida? Yeah. Like, uh, like it was like the end of September, like the 27th okay. or something like that. And think about that. Like, I had some, I got some homeboys to stay down there. But I pretty much, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was like a little contest or whatever. You know, you had to have people vote for you. And then, like, they uh, pretty much just voted for me, whatever. They kicked me and I went down there. Mm-hmm. I went down there. I, I pretty much went down there solo. No team, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? But when I went down there, you know what I'm saying, I just I just knew it was an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Like it was um artists from all over the country. Atlanta, mm-hmm. Cali, Texas, you know what I'm saying? Like Florida. It was like it was two other artists from Michigan. You know what I'm saying? So we instantly clicked. Mm-hmm. And Philly too. Shout out to Philly because they was holding me down Shout out to Philly. Shout out to Philly. You know what I'm saying? Like uh when I got down there, when I got in there, you know what I'm saying, I pretty much was just working the room. Networking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Showing love, you know what I'm saying? 
you know, I was recording everybody set. Like, they had me. Like, it was so many people performing, bro. I was, like, number 20. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, like, but I was just showing the networking or whatever. Shout out to New Orleans, too, that was in there. Word. Um, and, like, I got the same love back. Like, it was people, you know what I'm saying? Like, after I did that shit, it was people, like, recording me, sending me that shit on Instagram. Everybody was linking up. You know word, what I'm saying? So, word. it was a good... That that right there was like it's like I needed that I needed to go there. It was just like to see that it's something else, like to see that it ain't um, all it ain't all high Pontiac kids. No, not necessarily that because like the la the last four years, like like my company, like uh, CB Nation, we been out here like mm -hmm. we, we pretty much like you know, eight states, five countries. You know what I'm saying? Like Word. UK, uh, Canada, Mexico, Africa. I got people over there to do promotion or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like. Cali really shout out to CB West. They they hold it down. Phoenix, Florida, Chicago, Texas. Like so, this is like I always knew it was love everywhere outside of here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you know, it, it come with it. It come like it's just cross promotion. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, think about like if I'm just sharing this, it's not gonna get a lot of views. But if I got like 20 people sharing this shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and how you know if if they got if you got 1,500 followers over here. And I got twelve hundred followers over here. Your twelve, your fifteen hundred may not know about me, and vice versa. So, you know, it kind of work out the same way. Like the shit we was talking about before. Like you know what I'm saying. Like you know what I'm saying. Like the uh, not want to be famous, but mm -hmm. like get the money up of it and shit. I, I feel that. Like I feel like that too. You know what I'm saying. But the, the thing about that shit is, you just can't lose yourself. You know what I'm saying. You gotta really know yourself. Like anything in this industry, media. You know what I'm saying. You gotta be, you gotta be solid before you even go into the shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's why um, I will only want to do it with those that I'm doing it with. You know what I'm saying? So you, all right. all right, you know what I'm saying? You might know the person that can get us there, but you don't really gotta roll with us right now, cause I don't know you. I don't know if you go. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how this shit roll that with ones, you. You know what I'm saying? Ones, right. it, it, you know, it's just I, I will feel comfortable because this is who we doing it with. I'm gonna ask them before I ask anybody else. Um, right. If if I don't get an answer from them, I know I'm gonna just call the shot on it. You know, whatever it right. is, I'd rather do it with that group of people because this is who we doing it with. You know, what I'm saying this is who they call. They ask me to come do an interview. Or they come ask me to be on a podcast, or they right. want to do a podcast with me. So why the it's, hell not? I don't want nobody around me that don't deserve it. You know, what I'm saying like that's real right there. I like that. Cause let's just say if it all do work, you know, what I'm saying. Why would you know what I'm saying? This is it's because it's, 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 it's everybody. I think everybody expects that once one person makes it, we all make it, which is true, but at a certain level. So I feel like if so, let's say if you was to go off and get a million dollar deal, I wouldn't expect you to give me five hundred of nothing. I wouldn't expect you to give me anything outside of. Oh, you know, we definitely go <laughs> go so we live. Exactly. We definitely do it. It wouldn't even. But I wouldn't expect anything. Yeah, that's so, definitely but if that. people are around for that. Once it if it come if it does come, that's what they'll expect. It's like, oh, you got paid now, we're mine. I say with that, you know what I'm saying, like for the last I think like ten years for real, we had like a, a pretty much close knit group of just friends. It's like mm -hmm. it's always like associates, people you know, and then it's people that you know that's your real friend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your real friend might not always be there, you know what I'm saying? Or but like whenever y'all link up, you just know it's real, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And like that's that's how like I'm I'm just blessed to have that, you know what I'm saying? Like we got our group messages or whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> no matter how much time, whatever, nobody ever switch up and that's real, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's but that's that's how I kinda of would you know, whatever, no matter how the status may change, mm -hmm. I don't think those relationships would change. No. You know what I'm saying? I would want them to change. And if they do change, I'm perfectly fine being by myself. I have a cat. <laughs> he gets on my goddamn nerves, but shit, I, I know, I know it's, I know, I, I know what it is. So I ain't gotta worry about you know, no other shit or you know what I'm saying, whatever it might be. You know what else? Some shit though is like, um, I feel like everybody got like a certain point in their life where they just have a moment of truth. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I had one man like probably like two years ago, a year and a half ago, and shit. Like, you probably remember when I when I caught that little case, the little gun case. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and. That right there alone, you know what I'm saying? Like, I lost almost everything off of that. Mm. Almost lost like five years off a of, off a of legal gun that was legally mine, but I didn't have a CPL. Five years. Mm. 
It was just in the ride or it was on It was just in the ride. It was in the ride. It was in my uh, center console. It was loaded, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know the laws about riding with it, separate, you know what I'm saying? I, I had a I had a little permit. I thought I thought I was good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah. So you thought you had five years. Once you get in that system, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't strong, if you don't know something, if you ain't working, you don't got anything positive going on, you man. Done. You done. Let me tell you, when um you know, I got in that little bit of trouble. Mm-hmm. I feel like the one of the only things that got me out of it was the fact that, you know what I'm saying, I had graduated, I was working two jobs, I was doing, yeah. you know, just a lot of different shit, so. Hey, but it's all you, you know what I'm saying, that's how you know how you built for real, it's how you know how strong you is, how you can overcome shit, that shit, you have to go through stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wish we did. <laughs> you know, a lot of people, man, I got like a lot of homeboys that's locked up, man. My boy about to come home. The end of this month, he been locked down like ten years. You know what I'm saying? Damn, good dude. He just didn't know how to talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it just it couldn't translate to the judges and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Good dude, bad situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can honestly say he was justified in what he did. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna speak on this case. He was justified in what he did. He just didn't know how to present himself right, man. And like, we we have to be knowledgeable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We definitely. have to know. We have to know how to talk. You can't talk with emotion when you deal with these people, you know what I'm saying? They don't emotion don't translate good and quick, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't. Facts. You gotta say facts, state facts, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be focused. No matter, you know what I'm saying? Cause they don't they don't care about locking you up. Yeah, they don't. It's nothing to them. They don't care. They don't care if you got a family, they don't care they don't care how good of a person you is, you got a job is this and that. If you can't translate right, you know what I'm saying? If they can't see nothing good in you. Or you doing something? That's it. Yeah, you just gotta have some more than just words saying that I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna be better. And if they're not seeing that, then you know right. they do whatever they do to you. Right. So you got anything new coming or any new releases? Man, uh, this year alone, all right. So this year, uh, I had dropped No Coast Auto. That's mm-hmm. like a what's that like my man? I think it's like my eighth. That's my eighth. Solo project, you know what I'm saying? Eight. Uh, eight. Solo project. That came out of the zone. iTunes, Spotify, iHeart, whatever you can No do. cosign too. No cosign too. Then I dropped a joint project with my uh with my partner or whatever. Mr. Jackson? Oh yeah. Tommy Jack too for it. You know what I'm saying? Mother Brothers, we dropped that in August. And I got something else coming out, you know what I'm saying? I'm just flooding. Them. I got a I got a video that's about to drop something though. Word. Who do your video? Oh, my, uh Shout out to uh, LP, Pilot Films, you know what I'm saying? Okay. They just hit their first million on World Star. That's who do my videos. Most of them. I, I work with whoever, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I did this one, this one video, OG. Uh, shout out to Reggie, Reggie B, you know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, Reggie B, yeah, he, out, he out here. He cool, you know what I'm saying? He did that. That shit, that shit slapping right now. This music shit, it's, it's cutthroat. It's, um, it's, con- it's constant competition. Mm-hmm. And you know, for a long time, like I used to always wonder certain things, like how do you get your shit on iTunes? How do you get your shit on Spotify? How's all these people doing all this stuff? Like I feel like my talent is better, where it's the same kind of level as them. But how is they on yeah, such high they platforms? You know, what heard I'm a little bit more. And like nobody ever told me. I just kind of had to figure it out. And the key was just listening. You know, what I'm saying I was just listening to what other motherfuckers were saying. And like I, I stumbled across two core. You know, it's for the independent artists. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's for the independent artists. It's to get you to the platforms, and it's so you can monetize, so you can get your money. You know what I'm saying? To get your money, and so you can view your demographics. You can see who listening to what, what you got going on. You okay. know what I'm saying? So that's 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 what Tune Court do for you. Like now, it's like probably a whole bunch of other stuff that's in motion. You know what I'm saying? But like anybody, like you know what I'm saying, that I really fuck with. You know what I'm saying? I tell them like, you reach out to these. You go to these kind of sites like TuneCore or CD Baby or something like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You get ownership of your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like royalties and shit. You might have to go to BMI, sign up for BMI. You know what I'm saying? Or ASCAP or something like that. You know, I fuck with BMI. But like, you know, like, you, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? If it's yours, you gotta own that shit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want nobody coming along and taking your shit. Especially you know if it's a good thing, which I believe that we do have. Right now, in 2018, being a rapper ain't enough. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever you're doing. That shit, you have to be everything. You gotta be you gotta be your own team. You gotta be your yeah. own manager. You know what I'm saying? You gotta put your, your shows together. You gotta be a businessman. You gotta be your own accountant. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's more than just 
coming up with a song, this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you really, it's, it's an everyday grind. It's like, it's no days off of that. And it's just like constant promotion, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just, you're gonna be, you're gonna always be your biggest fan, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't go hard for you, nobody else gonna go hard for you. You know what I'm yeah, saying? If you don't believe definitely. in you, nobody, nobody else, else will. Yeah, so it, it started with you, you know what I'm saying? And like once people see the confidence in you, it, it pretty much you will see it come back. Definitely. Show love, you know what I'm saying? Have confidence in whatever you do. You know what I'm saying? Be proud of whatever you do. Showcase yeah, whatever definitely. you do. And that shit definitely gonna come back to you. So that's for the independent artists, independent uh, entrepreneurs, business owners, whoever. Same thing. It's all the same. We all in the same game. Word, word. So, um, anything else you want to get out before we get Like I said, one time, like, salute to you. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate Thanks, you all for showing love, reaching out. You my dog, though. You know what I'm saying? Beyond all this shit, so, you know. Yeah, no, no. Like I said, the main reason why I want to reach out to Air Rack is this nigga, you know what I'm saying? One of the first music videos I was ever in. Right. No. That was my first video, you know what I'm saying? Like, we was just in there for real, for real. But yeah, you know, nigga, I like, I didn't even know it was, was that bad back then. Like, that shit was really right. fucking abandoned as hell. We, that shit was abandoned <laughs> as fuck, but hey, that shit was dope. Yeah, no, no, yeah, shout out to you. Where can they find you at? Man, everywhere. iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, SoundCloud, uh, RR Radio, Amazon, wherever. Anywhere. Title. Spell it out for me. How, how can they find you? Air Rex. You can hit me on IG. Air underscore Rex. Facebook. Air Rex. Google Air Rex. Wait, the follow the podcast. WTMN Podcast. Um, search WTMN TV on YouTube. Uh, follow everybody else. Follow myself. LL Cool Torrance. That's everywhere as well. Right. Salute.